All right, so we have our events content type. Let's set up our user groups content type. Click add content type. And this one, call it user groups. You'll notice the machine name is user underscore groups. And if you ever try and do a duplicate content type, Drupal will tell you and give you the option to edit it. In the description, this is where we track the Drupal groups from around the world. And in the title field label, let's call this user group name. We'll set this up in a similar fashion to our events content type. So go ahead and add a new revision, leave it published and promoted to the front page, turn off display author and date information, and uncheck main navigation in the menu settings. Once you've got that set, go ahead and click Save and Manage Fields. Let's change the label for the body to User Group Description and click Save. For this content type, we're only going to set up four fields, a link to their website, a contact name and a contact email address, and then a list of all of the events that this group is sponsoring, once again using Entity Reference for that. So we'll set those up in the next video.